Tag day two, got the ultra view course this morning. I'm gonna shoot early, beat the heat. I'm gonna meet back up with Josh from yesterday, shoot the ultra view course. So get my stuff loaded up. Heading back to Natural Bridge Caverns. For total archery challenge, day number two. Chilling over here by the Ultra View guys. Oh, <laughs> Waiting for Josh, and I see him walking up right now. He's checking his text message. Headed to the Ultra View course. Didn't have a shuttle for us, so we hopped in the back of this gas truck. Here we go. <laughs> Headed to the course. We got to walk under this, uh, I don't know, concrete drainage. Little tight squeeze for me. Got a wolf bear hybrid at 41 and a half. Both stuck it right in there. I played it a little bit more conservative Josh put it right in there turkey at 30 good shooting yeah, I should shoot for my knee <laughs> Little adventure walk in between targets. All right, target number three, we have a bedded doe. Just right through there. Our buddies in that group ahead of us are ranging for us so we don't have to. Bedded doe at 33. Josh, I think he uh, swindled me yesterday into thinking that he couldn't 12 ring every shot. That's all he's doing today. this whitetail buck beer at 70 quarter and away and I took the hair off the bottom of his belly. That poor yote. That he poor gone. yote, he gone. They say shooting with guys that shoot good helps you out quite a bit and I haven't seen that to be the case for me today, but man, if I keep hitting the target, I'll be all right. Look at that hey, monster. Good gosh. Movie. That's a mule deer. The boys are buzzing. Everybody's getting foam. We got beautiful scenery. I got punctured by a cactus. May have to go get stitches later. Having a great time. These Texas boys and Texans, man, they all right. Pronghorn 
at about yeah. 65. watering hole action with this pronghorn man that is a world-class antelope oh baby sad day I went 36 targets without losing an arrow. Streak ends there. My longest tax streak of my only tax streak, actually. But start another one. Got a pheasant at 50. Gonna get a different camera angle on this one. We have a bat in the tree at 35. All right, two more targets left on Ultra View. And I think a group of us are gonna go shoot the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation one, which is not too far away from here. So two more targets. Good shooting. Big horn sheet at 70. Pretty good shooting. A windy day. Last target of the day is a badger at 45. We all drew foam. All drew foam, baby. All right, we are walking back out of the culvert. About to get back on our truck. My guy, Clutch, right here waiting on us. Back in the truck with Jerry, Christian, and Josh. Had a great time. On to the next one. I just got through grabbing a little lunch. Had a sausage wrap, actually two of them. Now I'm with Jacob and Thomas. What's up guys? We're at the RMEF, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. It's elk season in San Antonio. We're about to shoot some elks. He's just, he's just doing what he does when he pees. <laughs> Dude, I like the strategy. Yeah, got him. Squeeze it in there. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Little young elk matured early. Got a pretty nice little antler rack on top. Looks like we all put it in the core. So, doubt he'll, uh, doubt he'll last too long. Little bedded elk at 75, 75 and a half money. see this elk right out there about 72 yards about to lob one at it three shots in his kitchen
got a 72 and a half yard bedded elk now he's a 72 and a half yard dead elk smoked him Two yard elk going to our right, 12 ring. Gotta have a five in a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> Seventy smoke show. that we just shot that was a 95 yard elk and we shot it no problem what's this one 63 63 yard small body. miniature elk yeah. dwarf elk we're gonna shoot it too Number two for today, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. Excellent course. These dudes are killers. All right, we're gonna shoot this kudu out here at about 66 is what I got it at. We hit it just phone. You get a free t-shirt. We hit it in the 12. We get registered for an African hunt with these guys. Kudu crossing. Ooh, I think you're right to the right. Whoa. Just a little to the right. Yeah, like, that looks like a <laughs> right at 70, Smoke City. the record a few targets in the knock on course things are going splendid we got an unknown creature at about 48 and a half can't see its head perfectly normal situation where I would shoot not knowing what it is it never 
ever fails. Can't see its head, ain't gonna have horns. That's how it always works out. Okay, we got a cougar. Or an African lion. She did. It's a dead pig. Got a massive antlered deer at 90, right back down there towards the water. Rocky Mountain sheep at 97 and a half. One more. Right, watch it. Watch out, Larry. Sorry. I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> hey, last target on knock on. Last target for me for the day. I think these guys too. We got a hundred yard poke at a bedded mule deer. Yeah, Good shot right of mine. He's a dead mule deer. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna count it as a ten ring. Right there. Right there. All right, pull them while you're down there. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta do my outro. Y'all come over here. That is it for us today. Shot Ultra View, RMEF, and then we picked up Larry for knock on. That is 45 targets. And I've been going almost 12 hours today. So incredible day. Thank you guys for watching. Well, psych. Well, as you see, my battery died at the very end, but what you did not get to see is actually knock on did not end at 15 targets. It was a 25 target course and we had no idea. We shot that first 15 targets thinking that it was only 15, but we had an incredible time at the very end. You probably missed funniest part of the day. Thomas, the kind of tall slender guy that I was shooting with, we were shooting about 80 yards at a mule deer. He said he was gonna shoot it in the face. I said, if you shoot it in the face and knock the horns off, you can have my bow. Well, there's no video proof of this, but he shoots it in the neck, horns fall off. There's no way I'm giving Thomas my bow. Incredible day of shooting. I just got through taking a shower. I'm going to rest and then I have one more day to shoot tomorrow. Day two was an incredible day. One of the most fun experiences of my outdoor life. Three courses, 
55 targets and according to Thomas's calculations about 12 miles of hiking. Incredible day, but good night.